Alright, so this video is going to be part one of our 3D space practice. Okay, so just trying to really get used to making that transition from two dimensions to three dimensions. Okay, now the first thing we want to do here is graph these points. We have the point two, three, five. Okay, so let's deal with that first. So remember, these points is, it's for the x, the y, and the z. Okay, before it was just the x and the y, now we're adding the z coordinate on the end. Okay, so now our x axis is down here, our y axis is here, and our z axis is up. So let's start off with our x axis, we have two. Now the positive direction for the x axis is this way, so we get two this way. Okay, so next we have three in the y direction. Okay, so we're going two and then over here. Okay, now we're going five up. One, two, three, four, five. And we go up. To about there is probably good. And that is our 2, 3, comma 5. Okay? Now to make this a little more, I guess, visually appealing, what we can do is kind of make a box out of this. Okay? So we can make it connect here. So we have our base of our, our box. And then it goes up to... Oops. Right here, here, and here. Okay? So you can kind of see our box get created here, okay? You, you can see that our, our height is, is five. This dimension over here the in the y direction is three, and in the x direction it's two. Okay, so you can kind of see, see how we're actually graphing a point like that. I mean, it's just kind of cool to see, I guess. The next point that we want to graph is negative two comma six comma negative two, okay? So our x is negative two. So we'll go in the, that's a really bad dotted line. There we go. Okay, we're going to go in the negative x direction, 2. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Then we go 6 in the y direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll go over to here. Okay, and then we're going to go 2 down. So we're going to go 2 in the z direction. Okay, so we'll go down 2. All right, and that will be negative 2, comma 6, comma negative 2. Okay, nothing too hard here. We're just kind of, you know, now our X is kind of in a different direction here. It's kind of in this, this, this downward left direction. Our Y is kind of where our X axis used to be and our Z axis is up. So it's just a little awkward at first, but you get the hang of it after a while. So next we want to graph these two equations here. We have first Y equals two. Okay, so let's graph Y equals two. We have an X right here, Y right here z right here okay so y equals 2 we're just going over 2 and that's basically it okay we can we can go in this direction right we can go any x it doesn't really matter all right and that makes sense because in two dimensions let's draw a two-dimensional graph over here of y equals 2 okay well, this, is, this is your x, this is your y, y equals 2 is just this line right here. It can be any x at all. But now, not only can it be any x, but it can also be any z. Okay, so now you get this plane. Okay, this plane. y equals 2. Okay, and you can kind of picture that. There we go, that looks a little bit better. You can just kind of picture that plane y equals 2. All right. So next we want to graph y squared plus z squared equals 4. Okay, now if we were just doing this in two dimensions, you have a y here, maybe a z here, okay, it doesn't matter. And you get a circle with radius 2. Okay, so that's what your yz plane will look like in your 3D graph. Okay, the yz plane, which... If you forget about your, your x-axis, we basically have the same exact thing here. This becomes a 2D graph, right? But now that we have this x-axis, okay? So this is a circle in the yz plane, right? So you can kind of illustrate it as such, okay? But now we can extrude this in the x-direction, okay? So we get something like this. Okay. We, we get a cylinder. Okay, that's what this is supposed to be. All right. So 
you know, that that's really that's really it uh, for this one uh, for this video. Okay, just a little bit of graphing, just a little bit of getting used to seeing things in three dimensions and all that. Okay, so uh, that's gonna do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors in the geometry of space, the explanation video for our intro to 3D work, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you'd like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out.